Hey Aquarius, this is Soul, and Aquarius, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of uh, March 20th through the 27th, 2017. The messages will also be for Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. So with that being said, Aquarius, I was just trying to figure out what the hell is going on in terms of the energy of Aquarians, my fellow Aquarians, uh, lately, um, because we haven't been having good energy but uh anyway let me just do the messages the best that i can take out of it what you can leave the rest alone with the world card being as your overall energy for the upcoming week it's in the reverse so a couple messages coming in uh, related to the world card showing up now this could have been a completion of an opportunity that has taken place for some aquarians in the past and this is why it's showing up in the re reverse for your leading overall energy for the week the other message is that there could be opportunities coming again, but there may be some sort of uh, focus on another area of your life. Then, you know, there is a missed opportunity. Now, what I'm getting with that is that someone that I'm reading for, there could be a shakeup in the family unit with the 10 of cups in the reverse. Something going on that creates some sort of emotional um stuff for you it could be uh it could be anything now when i say that there could be a shakeup, do not take that as um you know real dire news it could be that there's something going on within the family structure that takes place but it's meant to take place okay so this shakes you up now, because it is the world card, it could be it shakes your world up or there's some sort of event or changes that take place within uh, the family structure. Now, I got that because the 10 sits next to the uh, world card that's in the reverse. Now, I'm just going to give you a synopsis here, an analogy. If the world card was in the upright and then the 10 of cups was in the upright, then that means that everything that's going on within the family structure is going according to to the way that you want and is creating an emotional happiness and fulfillment for you but because they're in the reverse i'm getting that someone's world gets sh shaken up and it's related to a family uh either a family event or a family situation now the cups do represent children so it may be something going on with the children that creates a shake up um so whatever the messages or whatever the event or a situation that is significant for you take take the messages as I am presenting it to you, okay? But someone, um, family structure, possibly involving children. Now, I am getting too that this could be related, the cups could also come in as relating to um, Not only family structure, but there could be a relationship too, uh, because the cups represent love and romance. So it could be a, uh, someone whose world gets shaken up um, or turned upside down because of the uh, a relationship that's not providing some sort of emotional happiness and fulfillment. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. But there also could be a job and and also to a friendship uh, because I'm trying to apply all the messages because this is a general reading it's not you know um a love reading someone said i should just change my titles to love readings because <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> i think they think that's all i do is do love readings no when it comes to the general reading i'm trying to give you as much energy as i possibly can and then you just have to apply it to whatever it is that's going on in your life but i do feel that this relationship or a friendship job situation is creating some sort of shake up uh, with the world card all right as your overall energy for the week now it could be related to um this is the yeah that's that's where i'm getting the relationship <laughs> the three of brooms is in the reverse so that's a love triangle whenever the three show up it's a love triangle so um also too because the brooms represent fire energy it could be related to aries leo sagittarius male or female
Something's going on here. The three of brooms in the reverse sitting next to the ten of cups and we have the world card. Somebody's world gets turned upside down involving a relationship that may be a love triangle or some sort of something going on in the family structure. Okay. Normally the three of brooms is in the upright a card of positive movement whether you're involved in a love triangle or not someone normally i pick up that someone walks away from a relationship when it's in the upright someone's reluctance here uh, when it comes to a relationship this also could be um a reluctance to forge ahead yeah reluctance to forge ahead was some something that's significant now it could be let me get this right it could be that relationship it could be you know attached to a job something's someone's refusing to leave a situation that's creating emotional uh baggage or turmoil or emotional upsets with the ten of cups in the reverse Okay, Wednesday. I'm getting midweek here with the three of brooms. Friday now, going into the weekend, that energy still carries over because it's the five of brooms in the upright. So that might be battles and struggles internally or externally with others. So again, brooms represent fire energy. So I don't know if I'm reading for Aquarius or two who are dealing with or surrounding energies of fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is card of conflict. Well, it's not the five of swords, so it's not necessarily a card of conflict. It's a card of being defensive, uh, being attacked unnecessarily, or it just could be uh, outside of those external events. It could be just, you know, uh, Aquarius feeling some sort of uneasiness or uh, restlessness with the five of brooms. All right. If there's no other situations that's going on and no one is placing you in defense mode it could be just you and your energy in itself of feeling restless about a situation or could be another person this is a card of possible petty arguments and quarreling as well coming in normally because i'm reading for you it's, it's energy coming from others towards you so be mindful of that friday going into the weekend um, so yeah, this is a, again, another pretty tough fucking week for us. Um, but let's just see how it pans out and, you know, don't take all of these messages to heart. This is just here to help guide you and actually to, um, more or less give you the heads up in terms of what is, you know, potentially what you can expect, but I am getting a family structure issue here definitely with family and involving children all right Aquarius this is your reading and uh, I was hoping to have delivered something more better uh, for you this upcoming week because this energy does affect me as well so we'll see <laughs> okay anyway I want to wish you all a safe upcoming week ahead a week full of love and light and oh yeah, so it may be because of all of this stuff that's going on with the brooms and the cups in the reverse and then the upright that the missed opportunities is because you're focused on this energy here. So, but there are opportunities. The world card is not coming through as being negative. It may be that because of so much other shit going on that you're focusing on something else and then there's an opportunity that comes your way and then you miss out on it because this is a card of missed opportunities when it's in the reverse. So, and then your focus is on something else. All right. So until I talk to you again, Aquarius, be well. Bye.